what's up today my fellow Madden soldiers so what we're gonna be doing right now is making two major upgrades to my team we're gonna get Brian Waters as well as Troy Palomalo them were players that's been on my team for a while and I've been waiting patiently for an upgrade so we really bought Brian Waters I bought him for about 295k not that much I'm also now gonna go ahead and um, buy Troy Palomalo because I haven't bought him yet he was going for about 400k or just a little over 400k surprisingly I thought he would be actually a little bit less but it is what it is we're still gonna get him on the squad and he's actually gonna be my backup I use him as my sub um, linebacker I think it was middle linebacker just linebacker so I mean it's all good but the thing is, is that he's gonna be on the squad for the remainder of the season so we need to get him so he's right here for 396 we'll go ahead and snag him up he'll probably go for he'll probably go for less later on but you know I, I'm fine with it he got 92 hit power now so I'm happy I'm happy with the stats so he's gonna be a heavy hitter out there especially as a linebacker yeah for, for some reason he's always going as a linebacker his his well I'll show you right now his, his stats are insane so oh, anyways let's go ahead and upgrade Brian, um, Brian Waters real quick I had to get more training so it's gonna cost about nine thousand, nine nine thousand, about eleven thousand or, or twelve thousand to upgrade them. Just so you guys know. All right, so I gotta change this because I didn't realize that. You know what I don't like about this is that every single car that he came out with, when it comes to a set piece, they're all Kansas City. I mean, he used to play for the Cowboys. He don't have like well, not one, one uh, picture with with the Cowboy uniform. I don't like that, but either way, he still gets the Cowboy stat, so I'm going to ride with that. So these are his actual abilities. So Edge Protector, Run Block uh, run block Elite, Nasty Streak, Threat Detector, Pass Block Elite. So basically, he gets everything. All his slots open up, so that's cool. And he thinks he's going to get them on, on. Yeah, so he gets them on both. All his slots open up on both of them. So that's his fault change. So he's still a 97. I figured he would have went to a 98. So we're going to switch these two guys out. And then we're going to check out his stats. So he's still a 97 for whatever reason. So this is... Br that's not Brian Waters. Let, let, let me go ahead and back out. Yeah, he's... That's not... Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of it's like glitching right now, so... What's what's going on here? Let me let me back out. Yeah, I think I pushed I pu I pushed to go back in again. Let me see. Okay, exit. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to put. I see what's going on. It's one thing is not the zone run isn't fully maxed out because one of our half packs are out. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix this real quick so you guys can see them with all the abilities, zone run and everything maxed out. So. Zeke goes right there. And I'll put Marshawn Lynch in. So, okay, there's Marshawn Lynch. So zone run should be maxed out. Let's go ahead and see this real quick to make sure. Zone run. Okay, we good. So now let's take out his stats. So now, now I, this is his stats. I knew it was a glitch earlier. So anyways... He got 95 strength. It went a little bit down because we got Sprinter on him. He got 96 awareness, which is great. 97 pass block. 96 pass block power. 95 pass block finesse. 99 run block. 97 run block power. 98 run block finesse. So his card is looking very glitchy. So let's go. I want to show you guys how he's going to look just his stock card before I move on to Troy Palomalo. So over here on the right side, you're going to see that just his stock card without any Kims or abilities or whatever, very, very glitchy. 96 strength, 96 awareness, 94 pass block, 95 pass block power, 94 pass block finesse, 97 run block, 96 run block power, and 95 run block finesse. Let's see his speed. 67 speed, so we, we got him out to like 70 because of the sprinter. So, yeah, he's looking good. Now let's go to Troy. So going th the thing I like about Troy Palomalo, all you have to do is put his card in. You don't have to worry about adding any more training. 
than what he already has, so that's cool. What does he get right here? Oh, I can put him as free safety. I'm not going to put him as free safety. So he still only get times three the abilities. I thought he'll get more. This is his font. I don't care about the other font right now. I'll change it up later on if I want something different, but I'm cool with what he has. But oh, let's look at his abilities now because I wanted to see if he got enforcer, right? So let's go to the first tier. Let's go to the let's go to this first, the X Factors. Okay, unstoppable force, reinforcement, run stuffer. Nothing extravagant. Alright, so this is his abilities first tier. Oh, so he gets the enforcer on the first tier. This is what a lot of people were uh, complaining about, even myself was when his first card should have got enforcer, his first card should have extreme hit power. But I'm like I said, I'm just glad he got it now. So he gets the enforcer on the first tier, so that's good. Then he gets acrobat, secure tackler, enforcer again, zoned out, tip drill, unfakeable. So reach out, lurker, pick artist, return man. Or what well, gets return man too? Wow, strip, strip, strip specialist, tackle supreme, universal coverage, which is boo boo. I would I wouldn't get universal coverage. I put it on Deion Sanders. I don't know how it is for you guys, but for me, it, 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 it didn't work good at all. So let's go back up here. Zoned out, reach elite, lurker, strip specialist, tack. Okay, same stuff. Universal coverage, enforcer again. I want to see if he gets anything different. Nah. So it's good though. I'm, I'm just happy he got 92 hit power. He gets enforcer. He gets the stuff that we've been wanting um, since he came out, which he should have gotten his first card, but he get it. He didn't, but he got it now. So now let's go. Ooh, 98. So let's look at his stats. So he's a 98 on our squad. Pat Tim was a 98. So we got two 98 strong safeties. So look at that speed though. 98 speed, 99 acceleration, 93 tackle, 98 play rec, 96 pursuit, 85 man coverage, 97 zone coverage, 93 hit power. This card is gonna be insane. Anything else that we need to see? You got 90. Oh, I think we've seen the acceleration. You got 99 acceleration. 93 tackle, 98 jumping. He's gonna be like a bird out there. Finally, elusive niff is decent. Stiff arm, nah. Juke move is good. Spin move isn't. Okay, so we've seen that. Spectacular 84, that's pretty good. So, all right. So now I want to show you guys just his stock car without all the cams, just so I know some people might be curious about that. Because some people may not have Sprinter, you know, John Madden and so forth. So over here on the right side, this is just his stock card. He got 95 speed, which is good. 97 acceleration, 96 pursuit, 96 play rec, 91 tackle, 81 man coverage, 95 zone coverage, 93 hit power. So his card just stock alone is pretty decent. So I'm happy with it. Wanna go see how he is as a sub uh, middle linebacker or Linebacker, I think that's what it is. So let's put this in. We're gonna have to put one of our linemen in. Wow, Gene Hubshaw actually is more glitchier than Brian Waters. That's crazy. Even though we're still gonna put Brian Waters in. Wow, that's insane. Let's go here, specialists. So look at Troy Polo models are ready right there. Look at he is a 99 gold as a sub linebacker. Wow, he is a 99 gold as a sub linebacker. Oh, that's gonna be on and cracking out there. I want to see how. Hold on, hold on. Let's go over here real quick. See, because of that, I want to see how he looks like as like a left light, left outside linebacker or something like that. Okay, so he doesn't. Where's he at? Also, oh, they're not gonna let me put him in right there. But as a sub linebacker, I guess he's good. But as actual putting them in that position right here they're not gonna they're not gonna let me yeah they're not gonna let me so we see it right there but anyways as a sub linebacker you see that he's a 99 gold i'm happy with it because i do have him out there he's always out there playing as a sub linebacker i have him out there more than any of my other linebackers so i'm happy with it he got that 98 jumping we're ready to get it cracking i will do some gameplay once i organize my team a little bit better and then we'll go from there but anyways i'm gonna leave right here if you guys like what you've seen drop a like if you guys need subs subs to the channel there will be more great amazing content coming your way thank you guys all for 10 you guys all thank you guys all for tuning in you guys all have a nice day i'm out